Johnson and Johnson vaccine, which was developed by Janssen division of uh, Johnson Johnson Company, is a different vaccine. It's a vector vaccine, which means that this vaccine uses adenovirus as a vector, as a vehicle. In mRNA vaccines, you are inject injecting mRNA into a person's body and that mRNA tells uh, uh, your body to make a protein and then immune system responds to that protein because that protein is similar to the spike protein of the virus. With vector vaccine, you take adenovirus, which is totally harmless to the human body, and uh, uh, you attach, attach a piece of genetic information to adenovirus to deliver it inside your cells. So that's why it's called vector vaccine. It is 66% effective at preventing COVID uh, uh, symptoms. It is 85% effective uh, against uh, developing severe illness hospitalization with COVID. It also does not contain eggs or latex or preservatives. Many of you, I'm sure, are aware of uh, blood clotting issues that developed with Johnson & Johnson vaccine. After uh, 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 this vaccine was uh, on hold for, I don't remember exactly, I think it was about a couple of weeks uh, before data was reviewed. It was decided that th those blood clotting complications are so rare that the benefits of vaccination way, way more uh, than uh, uh, getting uh, blood clotting uh, complication, uh, which is was uh, exceedingly rare. And the difference with this vaccine is that you only need one dose. And since you need only one dose, about two weeks after you receive that one dose, you're considered uh, uh, that your immune response is uh, already fully developed. Possible side effects include very similarly, uh, injection site pain, headache, fatigue, muscle pain, chills, fever. Uh, and uh, those side effects uh, that can happen from possible blood clotting uh, disorder can include uh, more severe symptoms such as shortness of breath, chest pain, really bad headache, uh, blurred vision, leg swelling, bruising, and some uh, uh, little, uh, uh, like a, a tiny red spots on the skin, telling you that there is something going on with the with your clotting system and you have to uh, see your doctor immediately. But as I said, those were exceedingly rare and uh, there are uh, most uh, patients uh, uh, survived uh, this complication, but it is a serious complication and uh, uh, a manufacturer as well as CDC and FDA are fully uh, keeping public informed about this complication.